Welcome back friends, I am Shakti Rajan. In today's video, we are going to look at HCL Tech B, which is a program offered by Hindustan Computers Limited, that is HCL, for a period of one year. And once you complete this particular program, you are given full-time employment in HCL. So today's video is all about this particular program. So for all of that, make sure to watch this video till the very end and let's get started. So they have actually mentioned it as an early career program where they provide you full-time jobs in IT sector after your class 12. You undergo one year of training and once you complete it, they give you full-time jobs in HCL. And that is what this program is all about. You need not complete any degree or engineering to get into HCL. The only thing you need to do is to complete this particular one year program and once you complete this they give you full time employment in HCL. Let us see the eligibility for this particular program. The right hand side I have given you the minimum qualifying class 12 marks across the boards. This is actually posted in their official website and the link for their official website is in my description. So make sure you visit that particular website. An important point to note in your eligibility is that you must have studied math or business math in your curriculum. So in case if you look at Andhra Pradesh or else National Institute of Open Schooling, NIOS is actually National Institute of Open Schooling, Tamil Nadu Telangana they require a minimum qualifying marks of 75 percentage for cbse isc orissa karnataka they ask you around 70 percent and for remaining two things they ask around 65 and 60 percentage so you can refer this particular graph to ensure whether you are eligible to apply for this particular course so moving forward let us look at the selection process for this course so the selection process consists of four steps the first step is actually registration registration is done through their official website the link is in my description make sure you check that out the second step is through hcl cat test they conduct an entrance examination and the third one is again through Versant test. It is actually a higher level of entrance examination. And the fourth one is through interview. Finally, you need to attend an interview. It will be like a formal meeting where you attend and they check your communication skills, etc. and much more. And once you complete all those four stages, you are eligible to enter into their Tech B program. And this is actually a set of instruction given in their official website. So they have mentioned that you need to have studied mathematics or business math and you must have cleared it with 60 percentage mark. And the second point to note is that you must be Indian residents. Thirdly, in case you have two mark sheets, for example, due to some reason you become absent your board examinations and you are not able to attend that particular exam and you write it later and you get a mark sheet for that particular subject and you can, in case you have two mark sheets it doesn't matter even if you have failed in a subject and later written another examination to pass it again they consider only your latest course they don't consider your previous course you have attended that particular examination twice the second mark is pretty good they consider only the second mark they don't consider the first grade whichever you have obtained the fourth point is that if you have secured 80 percentage and above in JE mains or IIT JE, you can directly appear for the Versant test. As mentioned earlier, I have said there are four levels of selection process in which you can skip the first two, you can directly go to the third step, you can directly go to the Versant test and after you complete it, you can directly get to the interview. And that's the advantage if you apply for this particular program after clearing JE mains. So moving forward, let us look at the advantages of this particular course. So they have mentioned that this is an early full-time tech career in HCL Tech. Because once you complete this one year of program after your 12th grade, they give you full-time tech roles in HCL Tech. And they have also mentioned that you become financially independent because you start earning at a such young age. And they also provide you rupees 10,000 per month stipend during your internships. So this one year of program is split into two. Six months is of classroom program where you learn all those things that is relevant to software career and the IT roles which is more or less theoretic. The next remaining six months is through like internships. You do internships in their particular company and for that period they give you 10,000 rupees a month stipend. They also make you eligible to pursue your higher studies that is work integrated programs in Bitspilani, Sastra University and IIM Nagpur. And there are much more universities to which they have collaborations with such as Amity University etc. So next we come into this most important part, what is the salary? So they offer programs that is relevant to two roles. One is IT roles and second is digital process support. In case you enroll into the IT roles, the program fee is around 1.1 lakhs per annum. That is for that one year of training, you pay a program fee of 1.1 lakhs per annum. And once you complete this program and get placed in HCL Tech, you get a salary of 2.2 lakhs per annum which is around 18,300 rupees per month and the second role is digital process support for which you need to pay a program fee of 51,000 rupees once you complete this program for one year and you get placed in HCL Tech you get a salary of 1.7 lakhs per annum which, which is around 14,100 rupees approximately and all these stuffs and information is given in their official website you can go and refer it in case you have any doubts regarding this particular point so finally let us see the disadvantages of this particular course the first point is notice that you are not fully financially independent 
even though they have mentioned it as if you are fully financially independent and you can do all those stuff you can start earning 10000 rupees a month See, let us be practical that is not at all enough to sustain a family a sustain yourself because because you are not given jobs in your native place you are actually given jobs around india you can't predict where you get jobs so the expense which you need to handle will be way more than what they actually provide to you the second point to note is that you don't experience anything like college life the one year of program consists of six months of classroom training but even though once you complete it you get into a professional career and you don't still remain in a normal college career and now you become employees of hcl tech so you become more responsible for your own job the third thing to note is that you cannot do any further course study which means in case you are interested in mathematics and you want to study more in mathematics you can never do it you can never go back in path once you entered this particular program because once you complete program you get placed in hcl tech and you need to work for that particular company you can never go back start learning mathematics again and and in case if you want to do it you need to come out of their program come out of their job and then do all those stuff which really interests you the fourth point is not that work is allotted for you anywhere around india you cannot predict you will be given work in north india south india after that one year of training period you are given work anywhere around india it doesn't matter where the first point to note is that you will get into a lot of mental pressure see this is id roles you get into id roles at a very young age normally students when they get into it uh, they might be around 22 21 years once they complete their btech or bsc might be 20 years but you get inside these id roles at 18 90 years which is around 2 to 3 years earlier than a conventional student which means you might expect that you become more experienced than those fellows but that is not the case a engineering degree holder is given more value than this particular program degree holder so if you want to get into this particular course you must think a lot before getting into this because in case if you are like extremely interested in computer related stuffs and it roles only then you should prefer this particular program in case you don't have interest and for the sake of something you get into this particular roles it will be very difficult for you and that's the reality so if you ask me personally i would tell hcl is actually a service based company it is not a product based company service in the sense it provides a service and consulting services to other big big multinational companies so i have already posted a video regarding the zoho schools of learning and i will provide the link in my description to that particular video you can go and watch that particular course which is a two year program and once you complete that course you are given full time jobs in zoho corporation and i prefer compared to this course that is quite better than this but the final decision is yours because you are going to decide what your future is going to be so make wise decision and that's it for today guys like this video ensure you hit the like button and also for more interesting videos like this make sure you subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell icon because only then my videos will be notified to you we'll see in the next video shakti rajan bye